Hi everyone, welcome to CRGD Facebook page. In this video, I would like to talk about evaluating the limits for SAT Maths Subject Test Level 2. Alright, let's do it. Evaluating the limits, we have four common techniques. The first one is Substituting directly. Let me explain one example. Limit of x approaches to 2, 3x plus 5. So as it is substituted directly, you, you just have to substitute the number to the expression. Okay? So I'm gonna substitute 2 here. 3 times 2 plus 5, which is 6 plus 5 equal to 11. That's it. When when x is approaches to 2, this whole expression will be approaches to and uh, will approach to 11. Okay? Let me show you another example. Limit of x approaches to 5, square root of 3x plus 1. Okay? This one is the same way. Substitute it rightly. It works. So, just gonna substitute 5 here. 3 times 5 plus 1, which is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, equal to 4. When x is approaches to 5, this whole expression will be approaches to 4. Okay? So the second method is factorize and simplifying. Let me show you some example about factorize and simplifying. Sometimes you just can't, can't uh, substitute. You have to simplify or factorize first. Okay, so limit of uh, uh, t approaches to 2, t squared minus 3t plus 2, i, t minus 2. Okay, in this case, you can substitute 2 here. When you do that, 2 minus 2, the denominator will be equal to 0, okay? So it will be like limit of equal to t approaches to 2. I'm going to factorize this first. t, t, 2, 2. Uh, I mean 2, 1. 2, 1, so it will be like minus, minus, and t minus 2 here. Yeah. And t minus 2 can be cancelled. Cancel, cancel. So, you have the limit of t approaches to 2, t minus 1. Now you can substitute the number 2 minus 1 equal to 1. So when x, uh, t approaches to 2, this whole expression approaches to 1. Okay, that's how we do further arrange and simplify the second method. Okay, let me show you another example. Limit of x approaches to a, x power 5 minus a power 5 over x power 10 minus a power 10. Okay, so this one also you have to put right. If you plug in a here, it will be like, sorry, it's a power 10. It will be like a power 10 minus a power 10. It will be 0. The denominator can be equal to 0, right? So it will be like limit of x approaches to a. I'm gonna x power 5 minus a power 5 over. This one you can factor, right? a5 squared minus a5 the whole square. So limit of x as approaches to a. So x power 5 minus a power 5 over, you can factor this like this, x power 5 minus a power 5, x power 5 minus a power plus a power 5, okay? And then you can cancel this 2, and you get limit of x as it approaches to a 1 over x power 5 plus a power 5. And now you can substitute this a into a. So it will be like a power 5 plus a power 5 and you get 2a power 5. So as limit of x approaches to a, this whole expression will be approaches to 2a power 5. Okay? So that's the second method. Factorize, factorizing and simplifying. You can when you can substitute directly to the denominator, denominator will be if you substitute denominator will become zero. So you have to substitute. You have to separate, right? Okay, that's the second method, and the third method is 
multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of either the numerator and denominator. Okay, so let me show you an example. It will become more clear around the better. This one is limit of t approaches to zero, square root of t plus two minus square root of two over t. Okay. This one you can substitute zero here. Okay, and you can also factorize this. So I'm gonna multiply with the conjugate. Okay, so this conjugate of this will be t plus two plus root two, right? And then you have to multiply to the denominator also plus root two. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, limit of t approaches to zero. This one will be you can just minus and plus. So it will be like difference of two square number. So t plus two square minus root two square, right? I use this here. A minus b. A plus B equal to A square minus B square. I use this, okay? So T and square root of T plus root plus root two. Okay. And then what happened? Limit of T approaches to zero. Square root of square. So they will be cancelled, right? No more square root T plus two. And this one also no more square root minus two. Over T square root of t plus 2 plus root 2 this one cancel again plus 2 and mod minus 2 and you have limit of t approaches to 0 t over t square root of t plus 2 plus root 2 and this t will be cancelled again and then limit of t approaches to 0 1 over square root of t plus 2 plus root 2 right and then you can just substitute 0 here. 1 over square root of 0 plus root 2. 0 t is 0, right? 0 plus root 2, so it will be root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 1 over 2 root 2. So when t is approaches to 0, this whole expression will be approaches to 1 over 2 root 2. That's how you do by multiplying line the conjugate. Okay? Now let me explain the last method using graph. Let me erase this, okay? Just times with a conjugate and simplifying and then substitute the number okay show you my example f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 and when x is not equal to 0 and 0 when x is equal to 0 okay the question is limit of f of x when x is approaches to 0 equal to question mark Okay, now I'm going to graph it. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, this is x, this is y. And minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 2, 3, okay. So the y intercept, y intercept is 2 here, right? Y intercept is 2 for this case, so y intercept is here. And slope is 3, so which is 3 over 1. So you have 1, 2, 3, and rise over one, right? It will go this way. That is y equal to 3x plus 2. Okay, but there's one thing. x is not equal to 0 here. So x is not equal to 0 this side here. So this, this x value cannot be equal to 0. So this here is the whole here. Okay? And then what happens when x is equal to 0? y is equal to y is also equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, y is also 0. So the graph is like that. So here, what it means by as x approaches to zero. Okay. So let me start with minus three. When x is minus three, a boy will be somewhere here, right? Okay. Then how about when x is equal to minus two? When x is equal to minus two, a boy will go up a little bit. So when, okay. So as x is moving to the right side from the negative side, this will go up, right? Okay, how about that? How about this side? Let's see. 3, right? Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, my graph is not very accurate because it's just a sketch. So it will be here, somewhere here, right? And then how about here? It will be somewhere here, right? So like, as it is going this direction, this y value going down. Okay? Eventually, as it approaches to here, it will be here, right? And this one will be here, it will be here. So, 
as x approaches to zero, the value of y is like coming up, up, up from this side, coming down and down. So they were gonna approach to two. But when x is equal to zero, y will be zero. So we are just talking about the approaches, not being equal to. Okay. So as x going this way, y will go up. As x going this way, y will go down, and it will just they will just they will come nearer to two, but they will never be equal to two. That's the limit. Okay. So the answer here is two. As limit of x approaches to zero, above x will be approaches to zero. Okay. That's how you do. How you intermediate limits by four methods. Okay. And next video, I will gonna explain the existence of limits and limit to infinities. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.